Hi, my name is Rory Irvin. I'm here with... Dan Mulroney. I'm the head football coach. Pleasure to meet you. Is there anything you could have believed that the team could have done better today? Yeah, I mean, we turned the ball over. You know what I mean? We turned the ball over too many times. And I don't care if you're facing the high school down the road. If you turn the ball over four or five times, not going to be a good game for Lock Haven. But, you know, the progress we're making is, is incredible. Right? To go from 72 to 7 last year to a really good hard-fought football game, 27-10. If you don't see the progress, you're, to quote Coach Prime, straight hater. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything do you believe yourself could have done better today? Yeah, always always on me. I always tell the players that after we lose a game, always look back in the mirror and look at myself first and think, what could I have done better? How could I prepare better? Because my, my world is preparation, right? So in coaching and teaching, it's really just about preparation is my biggest fear. And if I feel like I'm prepared, I have a chance. And I think we were prepared. I just, you know, looking back on it, some situations, we could have called some different plays, obviously. We'll watch the tape and we'll get better. Are there any key players today that you were focusing on? Yeah, our defense played incredible, and, and obviously their, their running back's a really good player, number four. Their quarterback is a really good player, a transfer from a Division One school, and you know he made some really nice throws, and we knew that was possible. Um, but, man, we sacked him like six, seven times. We were, we were in his face. We were making him work for everything. And you know what? That's Lock Haven football. That's the locked-in experience. That's what we're trying to build here. Every single game we play is going to be a battle. And, and to be honest, I'm so proud of the kids. I'm so proud of the program. To be here only a year and a half and see this, see this process build, it's so exciting. It's so exciting to see the kids battle the way they are. And so it was a great turnout. Yeah. Three and three currently. Yeah, three and three currently. Obviously, our next goal is to win four games. Um, and obviously, as we keep going, winning season. We got to win two. We got to win three of our next five for a winning season. Be the first time in 43 years. And that's what our team's excited about. We're trying to get it done in a year and a half, which would be incredible. That's amazing. Is there anything you believe you could focus on in the future, maybe towards some of the next incoming games? Yeah, we got a good schedule. The PSAC's a really tough league, and we have to keep working on obviously staying healthy and then obviously working the rest of the process as it goes. As a coach, you know, you, you make sure the players know the plan, and from there, they have to execute it, right? So we're, we're getting better every week, every day, and we're a team that's rising and getting better as the season goes instead of the worst. So we're going to continue this, continue this rebuild. This is the biggest underdog story in the country. We haven't had a winning season in 43 years. Right. And I know I'm the man for the job. I know the staff. I know the players. And we're excited. Well, Coach, we thank you for your time. Appreciate you. Stay locked in. Get locked in. Go Bald Eagles.